Hello fellow stackers, 365 here, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showcasing some larger pieces of silver, and I'm also going to be doing an unboxing. Now first of all, let's get into the silver. Now this is silver you've probably seen before, but I thought it would be nice to get all the larger pieces out that I have in my YouTube stack in one go. So you can see, we have this gorgeous five ounce coin. Absolutely gorgeous. Now this was the coin I actually brought a second one of and I didn't even remember buying it. So it was either a late night purchase after a couple of whiskeys or it was a holiday purchase and I kind of ordered it whilst doing something else so I forgot about it. We've actually got two of these now. One of them is going to go into the deep stack and one of them is going to stay in the YouTube stack. Now I did ask in my last video, well I don't think it was my last video but a couple of videos back, if I should take the one that I keep in the YouTube stack out of the capsule. And a lot of people said no to leave it in the capsule. They said to add it to the YouTube stack but not take it out of the capsule. So I'm going to be listening to everyone's advice and I'll be leaving the one that we had to the YouTube stack in the capsule. So this is the first piece of silver we have today. I don't know if they're gonna work very well on these stands. No, because these stands are made for smaller coins. So we'll just leave that there. Next item we have is the 10 ounce JM bar. Really, really nice piece. Now, in hindsight, it would have been nice to put this in the deep stack because I didn't realise it was a vintage piece until one of my subscribers pointed it out. But it's been in the YouTube stack for quite some time now, so I feel like it would be a shame for it to, to leave the YouTube stack. So we're we'll leaving it in the YouTube stack. And I'd really, really like it. It's one of those bars that just looks really classy really nice and it's a bar that's nice just to pick up and play around with in videos moving on we have this piece now many many people ask me about this piece it's a real showstopper lots of people like this piece it's a 10 ounce art bar and i actually got this from ebay now it's always best to shop around when you're picking up these more premium items and the only option I had was eBay because in the UK these are very hard to get hold of. So it wasn't like I could just go to Atkinson's or Shards or Bullion by Post or anything like that. I really had to search around and the only place that I could get this from was eBay. Now I believe it was from an online bullion dealer in the US. So it wasn't from a random seller. It was actually from someone that specialised and sold precious metals. But yeah, really, really glad I picked it up. I originally saw this on Constitutional Stacker's channel. He has two of these, he calls them the twins. But yeah, I've seen them on a number of channels since I got this, but really, really nice piece. And like I said, a lot of people do ask me where I got this from. And that's where I got it from eBay, but depending on what country you're in, it'll be best to shop around and, and see where, what deals you can find on it. Now I found this, it was missing. After I went away on holiday, I couldn't remember where I'd put it. But it's turned up, it's the 365 Days of Silver 10 ounce hand poured bar crafted by Backyard Bullion himself. And this will be given away when this channel hits 10,000 subscribers. You can see it says on the back, 10,000 subscriber giveaway. 999, five silver, 10 ounces. Really, really nice piece. Really chunky, really thick. Feels great in the hand with this kind of hammered effect. So it's going to be a real shame when I actually give that away to someone. Next, we have the 10 ounce Queen's Beast Completer coin. Absolutely gorgeous coin. I'm so glad I picked this up in the 10 ounce version because you can really see the detail of every single beast on there. I've actually also got this in gold and I've got a number of two ounce silver versions as well. But I've got to say by far, this is the, the best one that I have. It's really, really nice. And like I said, you can really see the detail in 
all the individual animals. I'll try and get that on another display stand over here. Make a little bit of room. Is it gonna stay? There we go. Next we have another one of these. Now I believe this is the one that's going to go into the deep stack. Or is it the other one? Let's have a look. No, this is going to be the one that's going to go into the YouTube stack. And that is because I never actually noticed it until World Money Wins pointed it out. But, well, she's pointing it out as well, to be fair. But if you follow where she's pointing, it actually points to a blemish on the side of the coin there. There's like a little bit of frosting missing. So this one is going to be the one that's going to actually stay in the YouTube stack. I'm going to leave it in the capsule, like I said, because that's what most of you suggested I did. But I will be adding it to the YouTube stack, so you'll be seeing that coin a lot, lot more frequent in my videos. And we have definitely saved the best till last. And that is my 10 ounce Engelhard bar. Absolutely gorgeous piece, a vintage piece. It was a very high premium because I had to get it imported from America. I couldn't find any one in the UK selling this bar. I could only find kind of newer versions of it. And I really wanted one of these P ones because they were the ones that were apparently the older ones. And I also really wanted one that had this waffle back, it's called. Now, I'm not sure exactly how that's formed, whether that's formed when it's poured whether that's formed when it's cooling down, whether it's put on like a rack or something, I'm not exactly sure. But yeah, absolutely gorgeous piece of silver. Feels really, really nice in the hand. Just looks amazing. Really, really great piece of silver. So we'll add that down there. And that completes the larger pieces from the YouTube stack. Now, this was the one that we we're actually going to put into the deep stack. So I'm going to take this one out of the way and I'm going to put this in a, a bag as well just to give it double protection. And this is the one that we're going to put into the deep stack. But the remaining pieces you see here, they're going to stay in the YouTube stack. So they're going to be showcased in many more videos to come. And I think it's quite a nice selection. You've got a, a real vintage piece here, You've got a nice 10 ounce coin, You've got a nice vintage 10 ounce bar, a five ounce coin, hand pour 10 ounce bar, and then you've got this beautiful art bar as well. So really nice selection, I think. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Now we're gonna move on to the unboxing. Now, I didn't really think this through because it's quite a large box and I haven't left myself much space. So I think what we're gonna have to do is carefully shuffle this back. There we go. And then we can slide this box over here. And it says this way up, but we're gonna break the rules. And we're gonna slide it on the side so that you can see me opening it. Now I've got the blunt 365 days of silver knife. This is more for show really. Because it's engraved with my channel inscription on it if it's gonna focus. But yeah, it's not very sharp. I suppose it is sharp, but yeah, it always makes unboxings a little bit more complicated instead of easier but nevertheless really nice knife right let's get into this now this is long overdue and you'll know why when you see what it is i've been struggling through making do with what i had in the house and i finally got round to placing an order and I've gone for some really, really interesting pieces. So as you can see, it's whiskey. Oh, I thought it was gonna fall over then. Wow, this one's really cool. This one's in a, in a box. Okay, so let me just move that over there a little bit, make a little bit of room. Now, before we unpackage these, I want to say thank you very, very much to the person that donated on my Buy Me A Whiskey page. They actually asked to stay anonymous and they donated quite a large amount for me to buy myself some more whiskey. 
And like I said, they wanted to stay anonymous. They said, please don't mention my name or anything on the channel, which is perfectly fine. But if you're watching this video, which I'm assuming you are because you are a long term subscriber, I want to say thank you very, very much for donating. You didn't have to do that, but I really, really do appreciate it. So this is what I've brought with the donation. Let's do this one first, because this one is really, really interesting. It's not like anything I've ever seen before. Look at that. It's a whiskey bottle that's actually shaped like a barrel. Absolutely incredible. Let me know in the comment section if you've seen anything like this before. It's actually a blended whiskey. I'm not a huge fan of blended whiskies, especially after that Bell's blended whiskey that I last had. But it had lots of good reviews on Amazon. And also, how could I refuse giving this a try when it comes in an actual barrel? It's got its own stand as well at the bottom. I'm not even sure how you get the drink out. I'm not sure whether you did. Oh, there we go. It's actually got the cap on the bottom. So you take it off the stand undo the cap, pour yourself a drink, oh, pour yourself a drink and then you put it back on the stand. So really, really cool. I'm hoping the whiskey tastes just as good as the packaging. But how nice is that going to look in the backdrop of my videos? An actual barrel of whiskey. So let me know if you've tried that one. Let me know in the comment section if you've already tried this one. Let me know if it's a nice whiskey or not. And we'll go straight on to this one. But like I said, I've gone for ones that are a little bit different. And I've mainly focused on the packaging. Obviously, I looked at ones that had good reviews as well, but I mainly focused on ones that had really nice packaging because I thought they'll be more interesting to showcase in my videos. And like I said, it'd be nice to see if the, the whiskies match up to the packaging or whether uh, it's just too much effort's been spent on these packaging and not enough effort's been spent on the actual contents of the whiskey. But time will tell. Now this one is actually an Irish whiskey. And the reason I went for an Irish whiskey, and I will find the comments and I will put it on the screen for you now, is because this person said that this is, in their opinion, how you can judge the rough taste of a whiskey. And you can see that they said smooth equals Irish whiskey. And I really, really like a smooth whiskey. That's kind of the most important thing for me. I'm not overly fast if it's got a smoky taste or it's got a sharp taste or, or I'm not too fast if it's much, much stronger than other whiskeys or the rest of it. The main thing for me is if it's smooth when you're drinking it. That's a big, big plus for me, especially because I drink my whiskey on the rocks. I don't want a whiskey that I have to put with a mixer in order to be able to, to drink it. So let me know in the comment section as well if you've seen this whiskey. Like I said, I went for this whiskey because of the packaging and because it's an Irish whiskey. So I thought it'd be really cool to try and see if it's as smooth as the commenter said Irish whiskies are. But yeah, really cool bottle. Look how nice this bottle looks. It's actually the same size, same amount in this bottle as in the barrel. Let me just confirm that. Yeah, 700 millilitres. Yeah, and the same with that one. So, although it looks quite a small bottle, it's quite chunky. So, yeah, really, really cool. So, I'm no longer going to be drinking the Bell's whiskey. I'm not going to be struggling through whiskey in any more drinks. I've actually got some nice, well, I hope they're going to be nice, whiskeys to try. So, let me know in the comment section. Like I said, let me know if you've tried these whiskeys before. Let me know if you've seen them. As always, thank you very much to the person that donated for me to be able to buy these whiskies. Hope you enjoyed these larger pieces of silver on display. As always, thanks for all the support. And I hope you have a very nice day.